I mean, what were your impressions when you saw specifically this video here for the first time? Oh, man, when I saw those orbs, I saw this thing, this one orb, just start exactly what it's doing now. Just start to go around this thing. And all of a sudden, it started to join another one and then another one. And I said, oh, my God, they're forming a bubble of non-ionizing radiation around this thing. There's no way. There's no way what's about to happen. I anticipated. Do you understand? I knew before that black hole happened. Let's call it a black you hole. You knew that was going to happen beforehand? Just I knew that? that would happen. I knew that would happen. That's why really? when I said, I said, this is it. This is the Pais effect. I, I, of course, it's, you know, hubris. That's the only thing I got going for me, brother. That's not one thing I'm losing anytime soon. So, Have you ever seen <laughs> videos said, like this? Military videos like this before? Anything even similar, remotely similar to this? Uh, Never, ever. And even if I have... Because you remember, be able to talk about at it? one point, I would not be able to discuss because that would give away methods. Why at, do you think they're converging I, like that at the end? They're actually focusing as much non-ionizing radiation around this craft in order to, act, to, to condition the local vacuum around the craft, the aircraft, in order to form this wormhole opening for one of the back what's a wormhole it's really a black hole connected to white hole whatever has an entrance will most likely have an exit i do not believe in space-time singularities i'm afraid penrose was 100 percent wrong from this <laughs> point of view it never goes to zero there's a quantum bounce ashtakar is correct there's an ashtakar bounce at the planck scale again the whole idea of why i thought that they were getting close and started to oscillate around this thing is to basically create that resonance effect that would build the field to the levels it would need to break locally the Schwinger limit. 